one has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious. Ah, at long last, you did the right thing. You'll see. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long for you? Get away while you can! It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. And all the rest of them. Sounds good to me. Then let us adjourn to Cabot House. I'm sure that's where they'll hold up. I'll meet you there. Just don't start without me. You were just keeping him prisoner to keep yourselves alive. That's a lie. I've worked for centuries to find a way to cure him. But he doesn't want to be cured. He likes what he's become. Hold on there, Jack. He has a point. Your story about curing Lorenzo has never quite added up. What are you doing, Edward? I'd just like to hear what he has to say. He's talked to Lorenzo. I never have. You're saying you think Jack's been lying about Lorenzo all this time? Yes. Lorenzo doesn't seem crazy to me. Although he's understandably pretty pissed off. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I gotta stick with Jack on this one. I can't believe you thought I was lying to you, Edward. After all I've done for you. <gasps> oh my... Ah! How did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't taste this. this you know what I would never. You have all betrayed me. You can be a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. Thank you for your assistance. What are you going to do now? Well, it seems that things have changed while I've been away. I have so much to learn. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. I can see that we're going to get along just fine. Oh, I knew that from the first moment I saw you in that cell. I knew you would understand why freeing me was the right thing to do. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promise to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply as needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything.